All right, we're a little bit late because we've been slacking a little bit this week, but in our defense, we've had some sick family members we've been tending to, so we are here with still five days left on our shrine. This would have been what? The August 1st shrine. It's August 3rd, but we're getting to it, so we've got a couple interesting perks here. Uh, recently buffed perk and some other ones that uh, we want to talk about as well. So survivor-wise, we have a Cheryl Mason perk, which is licensed, so again, we always consider our licensed perks a little bit harder than our behavior IP just because they're harder to get right you got to spend real real life cash real currency so we kind of tried to decipher whether they're worth it a little bit more just because this may be the easy better or only way for you to grab these perks so we've got blood pact we've got quick and quiet Meg Thomas perk so behavior IP we've got a cannibal uh, perk here in knockout so another licensed one and then we have coup de grasse is that what it is uh which is a twins perks so of behavior ip and that one's recently been buffed so we're gonna look at these and we may talk about some uses for them favorite builds let me show some builds but we'll start here with the one that i do not have tier three and that's blood pact and basically what this does is when uh you're the session you or the obsession are injured you both see each other's auras and after completing a healing action on the obsession or having the obsession complete a healing action on you, you both gain 6% haste uh, until you're no longer within 16 meters of one another. Uh, reduce the odds of being the obsession. This is one of those perks that 6% haste is a lot, right? I think uh, made for this, hope some other perks have shown that a few percentage points of haste is a big deal. But there is a kind of big issue in that you got to be within 16 meters of the person. And... You also have to heal or be healed by the obsession. So I think with this one, there's just too many hooks to jump through. I think this was one of their first tries at some of these kind of buddy perks. We've seen them in recent chapters come back. And a lot of times they do have a lot of strength, but you really got to be coordinated with the buddy that you're playing with in order to make these work. So solo queue, not happening. But if you do have somebody else that you play with and you want to try to uh, get some real value out of teaming up, working together, these are certainly cool and because of that this is kind of going to fall into more of our kind of meme tier uh i don't know if we even need the right tier was right meme there so more meme uh definitely build around but it's one of those things where you definitely need teammates working with you at least one to make this happen so probably a pass for us unless you're really looking for that real strategic gameplay with one other friend or or maybe even more but uh it's very niche i would say our second then survivor perk is quick and quiet and uh this is one that we're just going to stay right away with meg we always recommend unlocking all of meg's perks with bp with blood points uh you don't really want to be buying these in the shrine when they're available for free to you and Meg's got three good ones so it's not like a lot of characters where there's one perk that you want and then you can ignore the other two Meg's got sprint burst as well and she also has adrenaline and quick and quiet adrenaline sprint burst absolutely top tier meta perks and quick and quiet is a good perk it's that second tier it's more of a build around and uh we'll show some builds at the end but it's definitely that second tier it's a build around and uh what quick and quiet does because we didn't explain that yet is when you exit a locker or vault quickly you have 100 percent of your noise blocked so it lets you be quick and quiet so this works really well and we'll kind of get that off the screen there this works really well with a number of other perks right it pairs well with lithe it pairs well with some houdini bills trying to get away it pairs well with head on perks that deal with lockers so we'll show some builds that we like with this perk we definitely think it's worth getting but again we're gonna write this down here just use bp Well, that's a just use BP. This one is probably a no for us. And then we'll hop over to our killer perks here. So killer perk wise, with the first one we have is knockout, a cannibal perk, good old bubble perk. And basically survivors put in a dying state by a basic attack are not revealed to other survivors when they are outside of 60 meter range. Survivors put in a dying state by basic attacks crawl 50% slower for 15 seconds and recover 25% slower. And during this time, survivors are affected by the blindness status effect. So this is really a slugging, pressure-building kind of perk. Uh, there's a couple others in the game. Uh, Third Seal comes to mind, some other ones where you really can 
create a lot of pressure by slugging. You're not going to make a ton of fa fans this way, not a ton of friends. Uh, these can be fun. Uh, a lot of times these kind of perks get used on Legion and some other killers like that. That can really injure a lot of people, have people mending, looking for down survivors, off of gens. You can get a lot of slowdown for this. So there's a lot of value there. It just doesn't always work. And if you run into a Swift that is on comms, this can fall apart because they can just be like house generator, main gen, shack gen. I'm right next to the shack. They just call it where they're at and they come get picked up anyway, even with the blindness status effect. So your mileage may vary. And that's why we're kind of going to put this one in that meme tier. And uh, you're probably not going to want this one. We're probably going to say a pass on this. But if it falls into like your play style, you want to be a little bit of a griefer. I could see that. But uh, probably not going to jump to that one. And then that brings us to our last one here, which is coup de gras. Or coup de gras. I don't, I don't know. I'm not French. Twins are French, right? It is French. I'm assuming it's French. Um, but each time a generator is completed, you get two tokens for a maximum of five at a time. And basically, you can consume one token on your lunge to increase your next lunge 80%. This catches people off guard. You can do some crazy things at relatively unsafe pallets. Uh, and even some that are a little bit safer, just because people aren't expecting you to have that reach, have that range. Uh, definitely a good perk on M1 killers. It's just one of those ones where... You're going to have to be very cognizant of what you're doing because you can waste these. You're not going to want to lunge if you don't have to. And sometimes you have to, but you don't need the coup uh, extra range. So it just ends up being wasted. Um, it's tough. It's definitely better because you get twice as many tokens now as you did before. Uh, so this may be one you want to pick up. And a lot of people don't play twins. Uh, so this might be one that you want to pick up. We're going to put this more in our kind of second tier. Um, you're going to want to build around it. You're going to be limited in who you can use it on. I will say it's kind of off meta. Uh, so that might be one, might be one to consider picking up. So out of these, this one we're saying use BP for, these ones are probably passes and this might be, might be a pickup. It's a maybe if it appeals to you and you play a lot of M1 killers, not the greatest shrine, but they, they don't have to be right. A lot of us already have the greatest perks and meta perks. Sometimes you want these second tier off meta meme perks because it allows you to pick up some stuff that you may not have wanted to spend the time leveling up or the money buying the chapters. And uh, you can grab those perks to experiment with other ways. So we're going to hop over. I just want to show you a couple builds with quick and quiet while we like quick and quiet. Uh, cool. You can just try kind of throw in with three other perks. Uh, you don't have to necessarily build around it. And these ones we're kind of saying pass on. So we're going to click out of this. We'll come back for a summary. But if we're talking survivors, we definitely do like having quick and quiet in our repertoire. So I'm trying to think, do we have, here's one that we have here. So this is just kind of one of our Houdini builds. And basically what we run here overcome and you can sub out overcome with head on head on pairs well with quick and quiet as well lucky break which basically allows you to hide your scratch marks blood you got quick and quiet to get into a locker or disappear quietly and then you can heal up with inner healing so idea is take a hit break line of sight leave no trace get in a locker heal up and you're back at it very nice with head on you can take a hit Leave no trace, get in a locker. If they come by the locker, you stun them with head on. If they don't, you heal up fully and continue about your day. You also can throw on something like Lithe, and then you could throw on uh, Dance With Me and something like Lightweight, and that would absolutely be another nice Houdini type build. Maybe we'll throw that on here real quick. So you throw that on there. We'll go with Lightweight. These perks are just right here for us. And then, uh, what do we say, Dance? Something like dance with me. So basically with this one, it's another Houdini type build. You hit a vault quietly, break line of sight first, hit a vault. Now you leave no scratch marks and you leave less or not as long as scratch marks. So you just disappear. So pretty cool. Nice builds here. So yeah, these are some uses for the perk. Why we like the perk so much. We'll come back to our summary real quick. But yeah, these are more meme. If they suit your needs, if it falls into your play style pick them up it could be fun i just think this one's too situational and i think this one again is situational in the fact that if they are on comms or swift it's gonna have limited use uh so both these 
powerful but limited use. This one I think is a fun one to experiment with. It's, I think kind of off meta right now. It could be very good, uh, but it might just be a win more perk depending how you use it. And then quick and quiet, fantastic. We definitely say this is a great perk, but we recommend grabbing Sprint Burst and Adrenaline with uh, with this perk as well by leveling up Meg. And uh, Meg is usually one of those number one starter survivors anyway, so a lot of you probably uh, leveled her up anyway. So this is one that you, you might have, but very strong perk. Kind of works in some builds, but works in some very strong builds. So uh, that's going to be it for us. We're signing off. But again, I'm Smig. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Hopefully we helped you make some decisions on how to spend your hard-earned iridescent shards. We tried to do educational content, but uh, we hope we see you in the comments on stream or sometime in the fog. Take care.